Attention investors, the market is shifting fast and three powerhouse semiconductor dividend stocks are set for explosive growth. These aren't just surviving in today's turbulent market, they're thriving. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, this is critical for your financial future. In the next few minutes, you'll discover three game-changing companies that offer not only impressive growth potential, but also reliable dividends. Grab a pen, let's dive in before this opportunity slips away. Our first stock under the spotlight is Broadcom, ticker Avgo. Broadcom has emerged as a powerhouse in the semiconductor industry with a strong foothold in various high growth sectors. While many investors primarily associate Broadcom with artificial intelligence, AI, it's crucial to understand that the company's reach extends far beyond this buzzworthy field. Broadcom's diverse portfolio spans data centers, networking, software, and broadband, with rapid growth in the automotive sector. As connected and autonomous vehicles rise, demand for advanced semiconductors is booming. While Broadcom's automotive segment is smaller, it's expanding quickly, positioning the company for future success in this lucrative market. Let's take a closer look at Broadcom's financial performance, uh, which has been nothing short of stellar. Over the past year, the company's stock price has surged by an astounding 90%, reflecting investor confidence in its growth trajectory and market position. And this remarkable stock performance has been underpinned by equally impressive financial results. And Broadcom's revenue has seen a substantial increase, climbing from $27.45 billion in fiscal year 2021 to $46.8 billion over the trailing 12 months. This represents a growth rate of over 70% in just a few years, a testament to the company's ability to capitalize on emerging technologies and market trends. Keep an eye on Broadcom's exponential moving averages, trading above both the 50-day and 200-day EMA signals strong momentum. If the relative strength index nears 70, it could indicate overbought conditions while an RSI near 30 suggests a buying opportunity. Also watch the moving average convergence divergence for shifts. A bullish crossover may signal a good entry point while a bearish crossover hints at weakness. One of the most critical metrics for assessing a company's financial health and ability to fund future growth is free cash flow. In this regard, Broadcom truly shines and the company has increased its free cash flow from $13.3 billion to nearly $19 billion over the trailing 12 months. This robust cash generation not only provides Broadcom with the flexibility to invest in research and development, but also allows it to return value to shareholders through dividends and strategic acquisitions. Speaking of dividends, Broadcom currently offers an annual dividend of $21.20 per share, which translates to a yield of 1.3%. The company has an impressive track record of 13 consecutive years of dividend growth with a robust five-year dividend growth rate of 16%. When it comes to valuation, Broadcom presents an intriguing picture. Analysts are projecting 2025 earnings per share of $61.80, which puts the stock's forward price to earnings PE ratio at 26.2 times. However, to better understand if it's undervalued or fairly priced, it's helpful to look at the price your earnings to growth PEGI ratio. Broadcom's PEGI ratio stands at 1.19, which is under the threshold of 1.5, indicating the stock may still have room to grow. But before we move on, here's a question to consider. If you could add one more division to Broadcom's already diverse portfolio, what would it be and why? Share your strategic insights in the comments below. Now let's turn our attention to our second stock pick, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, better known as TSMC, ticker TSM. TSMC is the world's largest dedicated independent semiconductor foundry, playing a crucial role in the global technology supply chain. The company manufactures chips for some of the biggest names in tech including Apple, Nvidia, and AMD. Like Broadcom, TSMC has been riding the wave of increased demand for advanced semiconductors, particularly those used in AI applications. Technically, TSMC has a peg ratio of 0.85, which is below one. This suggests that the stock is undervalued in relation to its projected growth. To enhance your analysis, watch for the 50-day EMA crossing above the 200-day EMA, a golden cross, for a potential strong upward trend. Also, monitor the RSI level is in mark. If it hits 70, TSMC may be overbought, indicating potential for a pullback. Now, a strong MACD crossover could also confirm this momentum shift. TSMC's stock performance has been nothing short of remarkable, with shares up an impressive 88% over the past year. This surge reflects not only the company's current strong performance, but also investor optimism about its future prospects in an increasingly chip-dependent world. Our third and final stock pick is LAM Research Corporation, ticker LRCX. LAM Research Corporation is a leading 
provider in the semiconductor equipment industry, specializing in wafer fabrication, equipment and services. Established in 1980, the company plays a pivotal role in advancing semiconductor manufacturing by delivering innovative solutions for etching, deposition and cleaning, critical processes for creating advanced microchips. LAMS technologies are integral in the production of memory chips and logic devices used in a vast array of electronic devices, including smartphones, laptops and data centers. LAM Research is a key player in the semiconductor supply chain, supporting major manufacturers like TSMC, Intel and Samsung. Its innovation drives down semiconductor production costs while enabling more complex chip. Financially, LAM shows consistent growth and profitability, offering dividends to attract income-focused investors. With trends like 5G, AI and cloud computing on the rise, LAM is well positioned to meet the growing demand for advanced semiconductor equipment. For LAM research, a solid technical strategy includes watching Bollinger Bands for price volatility. If the stock touches or breaks the upper band, it might signal overbought conditions, whereas a touch near the lower band could suggest the stock is oversold and ready for a bounce. Pair this with the RSI for further confirmation. An RSI near 30 signals oversold, while near 70 signals overbought. Additionally, using the MACD indicator here so it can help capture momentum shifts. A positive max D crossover may indicate a buying opportunity, especially if confirmed by a move toward the upper Bollinger Band. Let's look at the table. Broadcom, TSMC and LAM Research are all showing strong financial performance driven by significant revenue growth, robust free cash flow and consistent dividend increases. Broadcom's impressive 90% stock growth reflects its expansion into key sectors like AI and automotive, while TSMC's dominant position in semiconductor manufacturing, coupled with a 30% price upside, positions it for continued success. LAM Research, though more cyclical, offers a solid 44% upside potential with increasing cash flow efficiency and a growing dividend. And these stocks offer diverse opportunities across the semiconductor industry, making them essential considerations for investors seeking both growth and income. In conclusion, Broadcom, TSMC and LAM Research represent three diverse yet complementary ways to invest in the ongoing semiconductor boom. Each company plays a crucial role in the industry. Broadcom as a leading chip designer and manufacturer, TSMC as the world's premier semiconductor foundry, and LAM Research as a key provider of semiconductor manufacturing equipment. All three companies offer a compelling mix of growth potential and dividend income, making them attractive options for long-term investors. Their strong market positions, robust financials, and exposure to high growth areas like AI, 5G, and automotive technology position them well for future success. However, it's important to remember that the semiconductor industry can be cyclical and subject to rapid technological changes. While these companies have demonstrated their ability to navigate these challenges, investors should always conduct their own due diligence and consider their individual risk tolerance and investment goals for making any investment decisions. One final thought for you. In your opinion, what's the most underrated economic indicator that investors should pay more attention to right now? Drop your analysis in the comments. We'd love to hear your perspective. Until next time, keep investing wisely. To conclude, if you found value in this analysis, please support our channel by liking this video and subscribing for more in-depth investment insights. Remember, this video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute financial advice. Always consult with a qualified financial advisor before making investment decisions. Thank you for watching Simple Investing Secrets and we'll see you in our next video.